Hello everyone, this is a YouTuber, Tahalja, back with another video. This video is something different. I haven't done questions in my video before, on which is better. So we're going to be comparing the Samsung Galaxy or the Apple iPhone. Which one is better? See back for more details. Okay, we got it. Boom. We got the iPhone 15 Pro Max from Apple or the Galaxy S23 Ultra from Samsung. We are. This is the versus one. We're going to compare in terms of which one is better. Looks, colors, price, camera shoots, quality, feel, design, interface, ease of use, speed or fast, warranty, bonus winner, and overall pick for 2024. The reason why I made this is because I want you to figure out which phone is best for you. My opinion could be better or your opinion could be true because we, everyone has different opinions on phones, but I, I'm giving you which one will be better for 2024, iOS, iOS, or Android. Let's get started. So first things first, I'm on my desktop. We are going to go on Google Chrome. First thing, look, we're going to, first we're going to go in terms of looks. The iPhone 15, let me go here. The iPhone 15 is like this color, okay? I chose this color because I wanted to stand out for you. This is the silver color. I'm not familiar with iPhone because I'm an Android user. I use Androids. So, anyways. See? Three cameras on this side. One here, one here, and bigger interface. Look. The looks is... I would give it a 7 out of 10 just because the design looks very good to be true. Now if you go to the Samsung side, here is the S23 Ultra. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm recording with this camera right now. I'm recording with this phone, the green color, alright? So I like the I like the design. But the design, it was, it looks good. It looks so, so organized. And it came with a pen, which I don't see from the Apple side. So I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. Just because it came with a pen. Apple doesn't came with a pen. That's why I gave it a 7. And... Yeah, the winner goes to Samsung. Okay, Samsung goes in one. Good. And I'm gonna make this a zero, cause nothing is on the Samsung side. Okay, next we're gonna talk about colors. Colors is like, phones have so many colors. So, if you go here, it look, Samsung got you exclusive colors. There's light green, lime green, gray, like green, another type of green, black, light blue, like a light purple, light white, or this. So, the, I'm talking about this color is here, green is here, cream, these are exclusive colors. No, uh, these are normal colors you get from the store. And now these, you don't find these from the store, you just get it from Samsung website. They're out of stock right now because it's, they're coming out with the S24, which we're not talking about. But these, these is the phones, gray, red, or orangish type, green, or blue. I like these colors. Tell me which color you may like out of all this. So... You got the option here to choose 256 gigabytes, 512, or one terabyte. So now let's go to the Apple side. Apple. Okay, here's the iPhone 15, for example. You you only get four colors, which is totally fine. Four colors is fine, but you're getting natural titanium, blue titanium, white, and black. They're all titaniums. But why would four colors be 
like so small for them to choose. Samsung on the other hand gives you a lot of options to choose all these colors and from the Best Buy website too. And I would give this I would give this to Samsung again because Samsung give you a lot of colors rather than Apple. So the winner goes to Samsung. Let me get my pencil. Uh Samsung, yeah, what? Let me hold the camera. Let me Okay, good. We got it. One. Now, let's talk about... Oops. Forgot to put a zero here. Okay, zero. Zero. Now, let's talk about price. Now, price here... Apple does not give you the price. They just want you to pay monthly. But I'm talking about the full price you need. So, the Galaxy S23 Ultra costs $1,000... $199.99. Almost 1200 to be exact. But if you go on this side to the Apple, I'm gonna show you the full price of this. See? They, the price has changed. Like, activate today on new line or account one time payment, or activate today when you upgrade. So, I made. You can choose this or this. I'm gonna go with this. So, and yeah. They are tied because there's they're same prices. So here I'm gonna give it a tie. A tie. A one. And one. Okay. Now let's go to camera shoots. Now the camera shoots means you shoot a camera, it gives you high quality with lenses, and the lens gives that full quality photo or video so here 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 uh zoom in okay here let me see the camera give me one second okay here's the camera <sighs> integrated camera yes front and back yes front and back now the frame rate is kind of different because Frame rate is like giving you all those frames. Okay. Apple gives you 240 frames per second, while this S23 Ultra gives you 60 frames per second. That's a that's a huge difference in terms of frames. Because I never seen that many frames on an Apple iPhone compared to the S23 Ultra's 60 frames. I only heard of 60 frames. 240 frames S24 Ultra when you come out <clears throat> compete with the iPhone 15 so I'm gonna give it to Apple on this one because it gives you 240 frames compared to this now recording resolution it's only this is up to 8k so um I may think this okay camera shoots I'm gonna give it to Apple uh, uh, one. Okay, now let's go to quality. After looking around some time, I don't, I don't see the exact what quality is. But I own an Android device. I own this type of device. I don't own this type because uh, uh, I don't know what the feel will be. But I think they're pretty much the same. You see, same quality feel. Gives you a pen. Okay, this don't. Okay. Now, I'm going to give it to Android because I don't know what will this feel like compared to that eye. And this would break, break than to this. This is much stronger. If you break it on the floor, like drop it on the floor, this would survive. This would not. It also would give you a cracked screen. This would be the best quality. Okay, so now... In quality, I'm gonna give it to the Samsung. Okay, Samsung. Yeah, quality one. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about feel. Now the feel would not be too cheap. It should be the right material to be that price. Okay. Now I feel this S23 Ultra. You see, I'm feeling it right now. 
now I feel that it it's kind of smooth on the this is smooth and yeah this everything the back is smooth camera quality is good 200 megapixels and this now this may will may feel a lot different than this this would be not smooth but a titanium feel now this would be feeling like a metal type while this is like a smoother type so I would give it to you know a tie because feel wise I like wait no actually yeah uh, feel should be to Apple and the Samsung cuz they're hard to compete yeah now let's talk about design which design do I like better uh this okay this would be a design that I like to talk about okay this design but this pretty much the same I, I, like identical it, this comes with a pen this does not okay this pen won't work on the iPhone 15 so we got cameras here 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 while well, cameras down street in here so the, the, the design I might have to give it to Samsung on this one I like their creative design okay now let's talk about interface I have these two phones my parents have an iPhone my and I have an Android okay now I own both of these devices and I pretty much should say iOS or Android is pretty much identical but uh let me think about it uh I like the Apple's interface because Apple gives you a whole lot of options but the uh, Galaxy gives you less options so I might have to give it to Apple I like their I like their interface so one and Apple zero now let's go to ease of use now the ease of use means that it should be easy to use easy to use yeah uh, easy to set up easy to put e your email in easy for everything so the setup looks similar Android iOS I it's it's a tie okay the reason why it's a tie because it, it's ease of use they're both ease of use so I, I I'm not a tech expert but they're good so their ease of use goes to one and a one okay now let's talk about fast speed now if you go down here I'm not a tech expert again <sighs> fast speed uh I might I'm I should say this could give you more faster than the iPhone 15 because the Samsung one is having more efficiency yeah more speed I should say this one give, will give you less I mean no it, it's it's this is first this is second okay now this this goes if it, if it starts up it starts up right away this starts up like two seconds so the fast speed goes to Samsung what and then a zero now let's talk about warranty and then now we the last one now warranty should give you phone coverage not phone coverage but it should last you a while before using this phone so if you go down here's the warranty manufacturer warranty parts one year and one year and right, other warranty parts labor labor one year uh, let me check uh, yeah they both give you one year warranties so this is a tie okay a tie now it's gonna be the bonus winner we're gonna count all this up 
right now. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is nine. And now, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, no, no. Yeah, it's six. Not seven. Sorry, guys, I miscounted. But please forgive me because I'm a YouTuber. So, there you guys have it. We did looks, color, price, camera shoots, quality, feel, design, interface, ease of use, and fast speed and warranty. iPhone 15 Pro Max from Apple is a six. Okay, a six. The Galaxy S23 Ultra has a lot of features done to the Apple iPhone 15. So, it's a 9. I counted all this. Well, this is 6, this is 9. So, the overall best pick of 2024 is your preference. If you want a popular phone that gives you, that gives you security, all those gigabytes, then... Go for the Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max. But if you're a guy who likes Android and wants all these features on your phone, like the interface, everything, then go for the Samsung. For me, I like I'm an Android person because I like the camera quality, like this camera right here. So the camera quality uh, is great compared to the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So the overall winner. 2024 would be the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. No disclaimers. No nothing. So yeah, this is your best shot. Now let's rip up this paper and now put it away. There you guys have it. That's your winner. Like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications. Because I did this for you guys. I did everything just to be safe for you guys. And now I'll see you in the next short or the next video. Thank you guys for watching this till the end. Please do that. Okay, bye.